Hi, I'm Jordan Winter with Lawrence Times TV. Today, we're here at Haskell University's Welcome Back Pow Wow. Haskell students have come from all over the country and they're gathering here. Let's take a look at some of the tribal traditions they're showing off. I'm Monique Mercurio. I'm with the Esalen Nation out of California. I am the co-chair and community coordinator for the Indigenous Community Center. And we provide a lot of support for students um, during their school years here, after they graduate. Um, we have a lot of community ties and events and activities that we do to keep everybody involved and connected. So what's the significance of the Welcome Back Pow Wow that we're hosting today? I think more than ever now, it's um, super significant because after the pandemic you know everybody going into their own corners this coming together today brings a lot of healing and you know especially with uh, orange shirt day coming up it's good to see faces and it's good to for the students to see the community that's out here supporting them yeah, my name is coleman josh nice to meet you tell me more about the dance that you just did uh so uh, what we're doing out there is gourd dance came from uh, the kawa tribe uh, down in oklahoma uh, that dance we used to do before we did uh, Sundance. And back in, I want to say 1884, 1886, was broken up by the U.S. Cavalry. But before then, uh, that was it was a veterans dance. People of prestige or that kind of proved themselves uh, were able to do this dance. Thankfully, this dance was revived back in, I want to say, 1956 at the Indian Expo down in Dark, Oklahoma. And since then, we've uh, continued on. Tell me more about what you're doing here at the event today with your booth. Um, we're doing a little bit of fundraising. We're mainly selling desserts. We have Piccadilly's, which is also um, pretty well known. It's like a dessert snow cone back from where we're from. And we're trying to get that known out here because there's quite a, a lot of people that like, what's a Piccadilly? We don't know. So it's just, yeah. Yeah, we're trying to just spread, you know, more of our cultural foods down south, bring them back up here just to uh, expand, you know, the culture experience. Just let people know what, how we do it down south, you know, and everything like that. That is really good. My name is Alicia Aldas. My family is Mauna Indian from Virginia and Mississippi Choctaw. That's great. So what's the significance of some of the regalia that you're wearing today? Well, everything that I'm wearing is something that I learned that was passed down from my family, whether it was my own beadwork or sewing from different family members and friends throughout my entire life. That's great. I'm loving the diversity of everything that we're seeing today, from the different dances to regalia. What's the significance of the event that's going on today with this Welcome Back Pow Wow? The importance of just making all the students feel inclusive and let them know that they're not here by themselves and that they have a community supporting them and showing up for them. This is amazing. This is wonderful. This has been Jordan Winter with Lawrence Times TV. Thank you for watching. And to all you Haskell students out there, welcome back to campus. This episode is sponsored by the Cider Gallery, offering full service archival framing. Learn more at cidergallery.com. And Vibrolux Media, helping your business to create inspired brand strategies.